Hey everyone, it's Button. I'm back with another stuff. Today is Thursday, August 26th, and it's the morning time, roughly 6 a.m. Central Time. I hope you guys are doing well. And I'm coming to you guys with another video, a lot more information as usual. Oh, and I'm excited. Today is drop day number three, baby. Today we got the Marvel's comic. Um,. Man, I'm so excited for this one, too. I think that some of these look great. I'm excited to get my hands on some of them and see how that goes. Um, with that being said, um, I guess one quick thing I do want to say before we jump into the normal stuff is that yesterday I talked about my stuff, how my drop day went and all that. Today, or sorry, after my video yesterday, I actually managed to grab another uncommon from the drop, and I got it for 10 gems, guys. I got it for 10 gems, guys. All right, so all I'm saying is like, man, okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about my strategy here, because when you guys see it, you guys are going to be like, you guys are probably going to laugh at me, because it's really nothing, and it's nothing at all, okay? It's literally nothing at all, okay? I'll show you guys how I do it, though. So... I open up the app on my phone, right? I go to the market. It's going to take you to this page, obviously, as you guys know. I go to comics. It takes you to this page, as you guys know, where you can find all the comics. Now, it's pretty simple. All I did was find the comic I was looking for, which was this one. I was on this page right here where it lists the comics in order of price. All right, guys, and here's the secret. I just spammed this because it was refreshing pretty fast as you can see it's refreshing pretty fast and I literally just sat there and spammed this and that's how I was able to get all of my deals I did this on several comics um, now here's the thing here's some caveats about this if you don't have a fast connection I don't know if this works out I mean mine refreshes in like a second um, so I just sat there kept refreshing and that's how I was able to snipe all of mine for an average of probably honestly probably like 1250 um, I just figured I'd let you guys know about that um, when I did buy the one for 10 yesterday I sold it um, for just a quick flip for a quick profit um, sold it for 19 um, and that's pretty much where we're at right now as far as all that's concerned guys like I said it's nothing fancy guys I'm not I'm not special uh, but I just want you guys to know that like it's all about patience as far as i'm concerned as far as i'm concerned it's all about patience if you're willing to put in the time then you're then you're going to get some good deals if you are just somebody who just wants to get your hands on it well maybe you'll end up paying a buck or two over and that's just what it is um, but i think that patience is very important if you are looking to get some good deals all right guys Let's pop into the spreadsheet, everybody. Spreadsheet will be linked in the description down below. If you need to know the price of any VV NFT, you're going to want to go to the spreadsheet in the description down below. All right, guys, let's quickly talk about some stuff before I go too deep into it. All of the NFT prices have been updated, guys. All of the NFT prices have been updated. Column I on the market prices tab. The header is going to say 826. These are the prices I just recorded today. Um, I did not update the circulating supply, really. I mean, they probably moved a little bit, but not a ton. I've got the recent price movement. Percentage gain from VV price updated as well. I've also got the digital comics page 100% up to date, basically. I did update all of them right now, and I updated the date at the top to say 826. These are all 100% up to date as well. Now, if you were using my portfolio calculator yesterday, I just want you guys to know that some of the prices were not right, especially in the Fantastic Four and the in, uh, Journey into Mystery set. A lot of those prices were mad inflated on my spreadsheet. So if you looked at it yesterday, you probably got a little bit of extra hope, I guess, is what I would say. Next, let's pop into the... oh. Oh yeah, with that being said, on the digital comics page, I went ahead and I added the circulating supply numbers just like we have for the market prices tab. I went ahead and got that added on here. It's right here, column D and E. Um, I thought that this it was time to add this on there. You can finally get this data pretty easily. So I got it all added on here. Um, very interesting to look at that and see which comics themselves are, are rarer than others and, and see which ones are selling and all that. Um, very interesting. So take a peek at this. Um, digital comics page. I put a lot of effort into it this morning. 
Um, next, we got the low mintage NFTs page. Now, low mintage NFTs page, I also updated the entire thing. This thing is 100% good to go. All of the comics have been added to the low mintage NFTs page. Um, I even have the one for today added, just waiting for the price, and it'll be all the way updated and all that. So, um, very cool. I'm happy I got this finished. I did update all the NFT prices on the low mintage NFTs page as well. So, all this is ready to go, man. Um, next, we got the portfolio calculators. I also got all three of the portfolio calculators updated. I got them cleared out. Um, I went ahead and got the Marvel stuff added on here. So as soon as I get the prices recorded, that they're going to be right immediately on the spreadsheet or on the portfolio calculators, just like this. Um, and that's pretty much what it'll be. Um, and, and I did spend a lot of time updating all this, guys. So get some use out of it. Let's talk about a couple of the movers here, I suppose. Um, we're just going to talk about like 15% movers because we're already kind of deep in the video here. But uh, Becky Cloonan going up 16%. Um, we do have Jason Fabic going up 10%. Dick Sprang going down. Dick Sprank, Batman going down 12%. Um, Bruce Tim Harley Quinn going down 20%. This thing is, this thing might break a, under 100 bucks. I'd be very surprised to see that, but it might. Um, we've also got Darwin Cook, Batman, as well as Batman Who Laughs going down 10%. Minus 15% on Steve Pugh, Harley Quinn. Um, minus 12.5% on Slimer. Oof, what is this one? Jake the Dog, minus 22%, as well as Ice King, minus 16.5%. Oh, man, we got a lot of stuff down right here. Buttercup, Blossom, Bubbles, all down. Um, him down. Mooka up. Mm, skip over the rest of the Mermacornos, Unicorno, stuff like that for now. Um, yeah, we're going to skip over the Kripkins as well. Minus 10% movement for the Uncommon Dragon Girl. Uh, minus 14% movement for Honey but the obese apparently. Um, minus 15% for Marty's hoverboard, but a plus 15% for the no tech hoverboard. Very interesting. Um, we do have a plus 6% move for Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Um, and that's pretty much where we're at. It looks like a little bit of red movements on the Captain set series, and that's pretty much where we're going to wrap it up right there. Just a little bit of quick information for you guys. Um, let's pop into the Reddits, guys. Um, this is basically where we left off yesterday. First post is from our homie Five Bag saying, What are VV doing with all their money? Um, I mean, to be honest with you, they're doing a lot of stuff, I would assume, um, paying their employees, um, working on Showroom 2.0, putting assets together for the VVverse, creating digital collectibles, working on licensing deals with certain brands, um, Yeah, I don't know. There's probably many other things that I'm just not thinking of, but they're doing a lot with their money, dude. Next, we got our homie Knights of the Ville saying today went like this. Six boxes, four commons, and dot, dot, dot. Our homie picked up the rare, and he may have picked up two rares, to be honest with you. Oh, wait, he's got two pictures here. He got a rare and a seeker rare. Wow. Wow. Congrats to our homie Knights of the Ville for the secret rare. This poster is special. We got so many superheroes on here looking epic. We got a couple of classic superheroes on here. Um, no doubt about that. Congrats on the secret rare to my friend. Knights of the Ville. Let's go. Next, we got a post from Tron Tronic Smoker saying, man, I'm so lucky. Our homie got the Magneto cover shout out to our homie this thing's at like a 100 bucks right now man shout out to our homie nice pickup dude nice pickup next we got frx trader saying i hope they knew what they had what did our homie end up scooping up oh wow our homie ended up buying a very low mintage common new mutants poster number 591 Got it for the low price of $20. Congrats on that to my friend, FRX Trader. That's a market come up right there for our homie, just like me, man. Finding great deals on the market. That's me, man. Shout out to our homie, FRX Trader. Last but not least, we got homies price trading at 
five five only can be your homie i'm not going to be your mommy or poppy and nothing in this video is financial advice everybody that's pretty much what i've got for you guys today today is drop day number three i'm so excited about this one i've got the gems i might be able to just literally see how many i can possibly get today which is probably going to be my strategy i'm um, just literally freaking spam 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 so Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have fantastic luck on the drop today, of course. You guys already know that. Um, I will most likely, I mean, I'm going to be here in the afternoon. You guys already know that. The spreadsheet is primed and ready to be updated with all of the best and most up-to-date data, so I'm excited. Um, make sure you guys go ahead and check out the spreadsheet. I spent a good hour, hour and a half on it this morning. Get some good value out of that. I'd very much appreciate it. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Thursday, two days left, and we're right at the weekend just like that, guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.